Good morning, Sunday morning. Welcome to the 10th episode of Good Morning, Sunday Morning. Do you remember when the Democrats went against the constitutional process? Do you remember when they were storming the Capitol? They were storming inside of the Capitol building. And what they're now saying is a traitorous thing to do. Is it only when constitutional processes are happening that you think they are in legal activity to go ahead and storm the Capitol building? Is that the only thing you think, Democrats, or no? Because that is exactly what you did. You went against the constitutional process, storming the Capitol. To them, they ignore the cancel Kavanaugh march into the Cap Washington Capitol. When they stormed in and did a sit down, they stormed into offices as well. Storming the Capitol, entering offices, entering areas even more restricted to the public. It was all the Democrats protest technique first. They were the ones that created the technique of storming the Capitol. They are gaslighting the world through their influences of the legacy garbage media. Big tech dictators in the deep state with the lobbyists that pressure them all to condemn it all. The pressure or the peer pressure more or less that the establishment pushes in the area of ideas of the mind. It is the worst thing that is happening in America. Turning all against freedom and the truth of issues. The Democrats, the left, are gaslighting the world. They also were allowed in by the police. And they were planning on breaking in to the Capitol before the police just let them in. They were bragging about it. They were wanting to storm in and break into the Capitol. Exactly what some did in the storming of the Capitol on January 6th. They were condemning the constitutional process. The Democrats were. They were in the Capitol when Judge Kavanaugh was to be appointed. But they screamed issues when it was about a constitutional process they disagree with. And that's not the only time Democrats stormed the Washington Capitol. No. Even when Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez first came to Congress, her and protesters took over the office in the Capitol of Nancy Pelosi, storming into her office and being the same issues they condemn right now. The Democrats, if they wish to argue their insanity, are themselves guilty of the same things they argue to the January 6th Capitol Revolt. For they are the ones that created the same circumstances in the past that precedent the ideas of exactly what happened on January 6th. In the two instances, doing almost exactly the same thing with no big worry, unlike the protesters that the congressmen and the congresswomen knew were not in their ideological puppet world of controlled people of ideas. They were scared because they knew it was we the people. When they know it's not their controlled minions, then they worry about real change coming into the world. They worry about having to listen to we the people's voices. Our government and the Democrats for sure are sold to the highest bidder. Those lobbyists that they truly represent are against our interests. Of course, messages against their lobbyist goals are not what they care about. For they have forgotten and ignored we the people for decades. 